Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna make a really moist chocolate cake frosted with chocolate buttercream frosting and finishing off with the chocolate ganache. To start off, I'm gonna prepare the two 9 inch baking pans that I'm gonna use to bake the cake. First, I'm going to cut two rounds from a parchment paper just to line the bottom of the pans. I'm only using parchment paper for the bottom of the pans. I'm going to butter the sides of the pans and cover them with cocoa powder. Now I'm going to coat both pans with softened butter, uh, the edges and the sides. Make sure the cake won't stick so you have to coat it pretty well. After I coat both pans, I'm going to lay the parchment paper that I cut earlier and I'm going to coat that as well a little bit and I'm going to sprinkle cocoa powder just to cover the edges and the sides of the pan. To start making the cake batter, I'm going to start shifting all-purpose flour with other dry ingredients. You can check all the ingredients that I have listed in the description box below. After I shift the flour, I'm going to use the same shifter to shift the cocoa powder. Here I'm going to combine flour with cocoa powder just before adding sugar. Here I'm going to add the sugar and I have all the dry ingredients added. I'm going to give it a good mix and then start adding the wet ingredients. After adding the wet ingredients, I'm going to give it a good mix to combine everything together before using the hand mixture. Now I'm going to use one cup of hot coffee. I like using coffee in chocolate cakes um, instead of using water just because the coffee enhances the chocolate flavor. Now I'm going to beat the cake mixture for a couple of minutes using a hand mixture. Now I'm done making the cake batter. So I'm going to transfer this batter to the pans that I prepared earlier evenly as possible. Then I'm going to bake this in 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. When the cakes are done, I'm going to take them out from the oven and leave it on a wire rack. To make sure the cakes are done, you can insert a skewer and see whether it comes out clean. I'm going to leave the cake in the cake pan for about 10 minutes to let it cool. After 10 minutes, turn them over to remove from the pan and let it cool completely. You can see here how moist the cake is. Uh, before you frost the cake, you have to make sure that it's completely cooled. While the cakes are cooling, I'm going to start making the chocolate buttercream frosting. I'm going to start beating the softened butter here, as you can see. And you have to make sure that you beat the butter till it gets fluffy and a light in color. After you beat the butter for a couple minutes, start adding the cocoa powder. Make sure you shift the cocoa powder before you start adding. I'm adding half of the cocoa powder here. Now, when you add the cocoa powder, start beating in slow speed and increase the speed as you go. While making the frosting, make sure to stop the beater a couple times and scrape the side of the bowl just to combine everything together. As you can see, I'm adding the remaining cocoa powder here. After adding the cocoa powder, beat it for a while till it combines together. Then I'm adding a few uh, teaspoons of milk just to make the texture a little lighter. After adding the cocoa powder, I'm going to add the icy sugar to the mixture. I'm going to add half first 
Beat it for a while, then add the remaining. You have to keep an eye on the texture. If the uh, mixture is getting a little hard, you can add milk. Add it little by little um, to get the right consistency. Now I'm adding vanilla essence to the mixture as well. Adding the last portion of the icing sugar here, then I'm going to beat it for a few minutes to combine everything together. I'm adding another teaspoon of milk just to get the right consistency that I need for the frosting. Now I'm done with the frosting. This is the consistency I was looking for. Now I'm going to frost the cake. Now I'm going to cut the cake into two. So I'm going to make it a four layer cake. So I'm uh, cutting through one cake here, trying to make it even as possible. Now I'm going to start frosting the cake. First I'm going to frost the first layer and I'm going to pile up all the um, other three layers on top of this. So I'm trying to make it even as possible and I'm going to use this frosting to frost the um, sides of the um, cake as well at the end. When frosting the cake I am doing thinner layers of icing since um, it's, I'm going to ganache the cake with chocolate as well so I'm going to make the layers a little thinner. When putting the final layer on top of the cake, I am going to turn the cake upside down so I can get the flatter side on the top and um, the rounded side will be on the bottom. Um, I didn't cut the um, cake to uh, make it even so I'm just going to turn the, um, the very top layer upside down. After doing the layers, I'm going to frost the sides of the cake using the same butter buttercream frosting. I'm trying to make it even as possible, so I'm using my offset spatula just to make uh, the sides of the cake even. To make this chocolate ganache, I am going to double boil chocolate with heavy cream. I'm going to double boil this till the chocolate melts and makes a ganache. While I'm making this, I did set the cake that we frosted in the fridge so it will set. When chocolate melts, I'm adding a one teaspoon of uh, corn syrup. This is gonna give a more glossier look for the ganache or more like a shinier look for the ganache. Here I'm adding vanilla essence. Make sure the chocolate is completely dissolved. It should have a very smooth and a very nice consistency to it. When the ganache is done, take it out from the boiler and let it sit for a while. Let it sit for a few minutes till it's not too hot, then start pouring it on top of the cake. After covering the top layer, I'm trying to pour the ganache around the cake just to cover the sides. I'm using offset spatula just to cover the areas that was not covered. So I'm trying to uh, put ganache around the cake and cover it fully. Putting the ganache on is the final step for this cake. After ganaching the cake, I'm gonna leave the cake in the fridge for an hour to set completely. Now the cake is completely set, I'm going to cut into it. I really hope you enjoy this cake. It's really moist and really chocolatey. If you love chocolate, you will love this cake as well. Try it out and let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.